Hello everyone. Thank you for joining in today. Uh, we're talking about holding on to the assignment that God has for us and fulfilling the purpose of God for our lives. And today I want to encourage us with this truth that when we hold on and when we fulfill what God has for us, there is a reward waiting for us. When we look at the life of Paul, we see that he uh, was a, a passionate man of God. He was a missionary. He was um, a preacher. He, he was a man who was willing to do anything for the kingdom of God. Now, what could be some of the things that gave him that kind of energy and that kind of focus and, and passion? No, he was completely sold out uh, to the cause of Christ. That is, is one thing. And he was a surrendered uh, person. And also he understood that God is a rewarder. In Hebrews 11, 6, we see that God is a rewarder of those who diligently seek him. That's the God we serve. He never forgets us for our labor. He is faithful to reward everyone who sows uh, in faith and Paul knew that. So he writes to Timothy in 2 Timothy 4 verses 7 through 8. He says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Finally, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge will give to me on that day and not to me only, but also to all who have loved his appearing. So, God has a crown. He has a crown of righteousness waiting for us. He is a righteous judge. He does not forget any labor that you know, we have sowed into. And this God, this God, um, how, just think about it. Wouldn't it be wonderful when we um, finish this life and we've lived for God and we appear before the Lord when he says, well done, good and faithful servant. So you know, there's so much waiting for us on the other side. God's affirmation of a life well lived. Uh, we've seen a crown of righteousness. And there are so many other passages in scripture where we say, where we see that um, one receives a prize when he endures. He who endures till the end will be saved. And, um, you know, there is a crown waiting for the one who overcomes temptation. So there are rewards that are spoken of when we do what God has called us to do. So I just want to encourage us. And maybe at the moment, the, the work that we're doing may not appear as, uh, you know, bringing forth much fruit. But you know, hold on to the promise of God. Now, God will surely reward us. He will reward us. Um, in this lifetime and in the lifetime to come. So it is worthwhile staying in the race. Don't throw in the towel, but strengthen yourself as David strengthened himself in the Lord and keep marching forward. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we pray that Lord, um, encouragement would come to every heart and every life. Father, we pray, Lord, we pray for that divine encouragement Father, Lord, we rebuke every spirit of heaviness in the name of Jesus. And Lord, uh, we, we ask, Lord, that uh, all of us will be able to run the race that you have given for us. And the way Paul finished it, Lord, uh, with, with an excitement about the reward ahead, that we too will be able to do that, Father God. Lord, thank you. Thank you for all these examples in your word. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.